Van brand LDV has returned to the commercial vehicle market with this large segment V80 model. This contender could be worth a try. Let's get straight to it. This LCV is spectacularly affordable. I really do mean that too. Large segment models, Citroen's Relay, Vauxhall's Movano, and Ford's Transit, for example, tend to start at an XVAT price of around 25,000 pounds. For an LDV V80, the XVAT starting figure is around 10,000 pounds lower than that. Yes, you heard that right. Now imagine the saving that kind of reduction would generate for your company if you were buying a small fleet. So let's start by telling you about the engine. Uh, there's only one on offer. Uh, that's a decent enough 2.5 litre four cylinder diesel from Italian firm VM Motori, which is the same unit you'll find in some older Jeep and Chrysler models, as well as a TX4 taxi. It's been matched with a six speed manual gearbox and front wheel drive, and it puts out 136 bhp. So yes, the performance on offer is likely to be quite sufficient for your needs. You will notice a fair bit of wind noise around the mirrors and the door openings. Uh, on the plus side though, uh, when time comes to slow down, you'll be thankful for the reassuring feel of the standard all-round disc brakes. Uh, brake assist complements the usual ABS system for emergency stops and ESP stability control is standard too. Now, if your business deliveries will be uh, primarily urban-based, then LDV hopes that you'll consider the alternative all-electric version of this model, the EV80. Now here, a 56 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery combines with a 100 kilowatt electric motor to produce an operating range of up to 120 miles. There is nothing much wrong with the way this V80 model looks. Uh, you certainly wouldn't immediately pigeonhole it as a dated design. The front end styling is clean and modern with a short dual crease bonnet flowing down into a chrome finished front grille that shows off the LDV Mark's new era corporate branding. Uh, flanking this aperture are swept back headlights uh, that feature these smart lower daytime running light strips. Moving profile and the dull slab-sided look that you expect from a large van is broken up a bit here by this central swage line that flows from the headlight to the tail lamp just above the door handles. As you can see, we've got the long wheelbase body shape here, which is 750 millimeters longer than the entry-level short wheelbase model. Now, most bars will want to avoid that base variant because it only comes in low roof form, although that configuration actually might be quite useful if you frequently have to access car parks with height restrictions Restrictors. Uh, long wheelbase models like this one come only with uh, medium or, as in this case, high roof height options. At the back, the body colour bumpers look quite smart and there is the option to get this central upper panel glazed, although I can't really see why you ever would. Um, what you can't have is a one-piece tailgate. Most businesses don't want that as it restricts the way that forklifts can get in to load the rear of the vehicle. The seating placement is high and commanding and the vast windscreen gives a clear view ahead, uh, plus there are large mirrors with manually adjustable secondary mirrors below them. Overall, probably what's most important is that this feels like a cabin that could withstand the rigours of a hard working life. Whatever else we say about this van, the thing that you're going to most keenly remember about it is its price. So let's drill down into the detail of that a little here. All the figures we're going to quote are ex-VAT ones, as we'd assume your business would have VAT reclaimable status. For the V80, things kick off at around £16,000 for the short wheelbase, low roof model that marks the entry point to the range. Uh, most company buyers, though, are going to want the long wheelbase body style that we're trying here, which costs from around £20,500 in medium roof form, or from just over £21,000 in this high roof guise. LDV is also offering a five-year finance package with XVAT prices starting at less than £200 a month. Of course, there are other body styles if you want them, with chassis cab, tipper, drop cider and Luton variants all available in the £20,000 to £25,000 bracket. Uh, LDV is also targeting the people carrying market too, with a seated up Mini B 15-seater minibus variant that's based on the long wheelbase high roof panel van and costs from just over £32,000. 
The other option is the electric version of this model, the EV80. Now the XVAT list prices here take quite a jump. They're pitched from around £62,000 for a long wheelbase panel van or from around £58,000 for a chassis cab variant. Before you get too put off by that though, do bear in mind that a plug-in government grant will shave £8,000 from those figures. And of course, your running costs are going to be massively lower, which LDV reckons will actually make an EV80 slightly cheaper to run than its diesel equivalent for an urban operator uh, running the vehicle over a five-year period. Obvious rivals include models like the Ford Transit, the Volkswagen Crafter, uh, the Mercedes Sprinter and the Iveco Daily, but you may also have been considering the uh, two other designs that dominate the large van market. Firstly, there's one that's badged as either Vauxhall Movano, a Renault Master or a Nissan NV400, or there's a design marketed as either a Fiat Ducato, a Citroen Relay or a Peugeot Boxer. If having considered all those other alternatives, you conclude that the price saving offered by a V80 is just too large to ignore, then you're going to need to know just how generous LDV has been when it comes to standard spec. So let's see. All models get metallic paint, daytime running lights, a near side sliding side door, a remote central locking, reverse parking sensors and powered adjustment of the large heated side mirrors. Inside there's uh, air conditioning, cruise control, electric windows, a three-seater front bench, a full-height windowed bulkhead, an eight-way adjustable driver's seat, Bluetooth phone connectivity and an AM FM audio system with MP3 compatibility. Safety kit includes twin front airbags, ESP stability control and a tough safety cell. Plus of course ABS brakes with EBD, electronic brake distribution and BAS, emergency stop braking. The asking price of the all-electric model is certainly potentially off-putting, but the figure that LDV says that you should be looking at isn't that of outright purchase, but five-year overall running cost. In rough terms, uh, the brand reckons that over that time, an urban-based company would probably spend around £70,000 in buying, maintaining and fueling a conventional diesel-powered large van, as opposed to around £68,000 for an EV80. And that does doesn't take fully into account uh, inner city congestion charges that are likely to rapidly rise over the next few years as new emissions legislation starts to bite. Let's drill down into that a bit. For every £100 you'd spend fueling a diesel van, a full electric model like an EV80 would cost just £16 to charge. Plus, with typical inner city congestion charges now running to over £240 a month per vehicle, the case for exempt EV vans becomes even stronger, particularly since they cost less than half the usual amount to service. In short, it'll pay to do your homework here and take the long view. Because of the prevailing legislational trend, the industry predicts that electric vans will be able to achieve much higher second-hand residual values than their diesel counterparts too. Uh, it is a bit early though to predict what that will translate into for a typical EV80, but we can tell you that residuals for this ordinary diesel V80 are expected to stand up surprisingly well. Experts' glasses expecting that a volume, long wheelbase, high roof model like this one will retain 39% of its original purchase price after the industry standard a three-year 60,000 mile operating period. To give you some perspective on that, a much pricier rival Renault Master van will return just 25% of its original purchase price back after the same period.